You might not know it, but many of the things we take for granted come from the work of scientists. Take an x-ray machine, for example. It can peer into our bodies, helping doctors identify broken bones. Thousands of scientists around the world have developed tools to see changes to the earth over time. Just like an x-ray, these tools help us learn things we might not be able to see otherwise. For example, paleoclimatologists examine air bubbles trapped in ice to determine climate conditions from thousands of years ago. Paleoclimatologists know that the Earth warmed up about 5 degrees Celsius, or 9 degrees Fahrenheit, starting about 15,000 years ago. That warming happened pretty gradually, over about 5,000 years. The problem we have now is that the Earth is warming up nearly that much over just a couple of hundred years. It's as if the stove was suddenly turned up. Scientists also study the Earth's more recent temperature changes. In 1880, people started recording the temperature all over the world. So we have a clear picture of how much the Earth, on average, has warmed since then. As you can see, between 1880 and 2000, Earth's average air temperature rose about 0.8 degrees Celsius. That's about 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And scientists project that the Earth will warm up another 3 degrees Celsius or more by the year 2100. That might not sound like much, but consider this. Ice freezes at 0 Celsius, or 32 Fahrenheit. It doesn't freeze at 0.5 Celsius, or 33 Fahrenheit. This has some big effects. One effect is that a lot of the Earth's ice is melting. Scientists who study glaciers, big, slow-moving bodies of ice that exist at the poles and in high mountains, have found that 95% of the world's glaciers are getting smaller. The Earth's melting ice is contributing to rising sea levels, too. Scientists have measured an 18 centimeter or 7 inch rise in sea level since 1880, and there's no sign of it slowing down. You might be thinking, what's the big deal? The Earth is a little warmer, and it's melting stuff, so what? Well, the problem is that life on Earth isn't designed to adapt to changes like this when they happen so quickly. We'll look at how the planet is struggling to deal with rapid climate change soon. But first, let's look at what's causing the warming.